Well, a big hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the next episode. Today, Yana and I are just making a short little video. We're just having a little look in our local cornfield before it's ploughed, because it won't be very long, and it will be. And hopefully we'll find something good. And if we do, we'll share it all with you. So, are you ready, Yana? Here goes. Let's see what we find. Got an incredible find here, everybody. One incredible Neolithic leaf-shaped arrowhead. You can actually see the flaking on that. It's very small, tiny, actually. Fine. I'm not quite sure how lucky we'll get with finding some more of these, but I'm pretty pleased with that. Very cool. Okay, I've just picked up this really interesting round sphere just, just here. I actually find so many interesting round stone balls in this field. I have found dozens and dozens of them and some of them have this notch on one part the stone is usually perfectly smooth and this is a really nice example so i've just literally pulled out just out the ground so i'm pleased with that i'm going to give that a wash up when i get home and have a better look and yana just found in, in this bag yana found this just a moment ago it's, I found two it, more pieces. You found two more pieces? Okay, I'll have a check of those in a second. This is a piece of red Heligoland oh, flint. flint. And again, there's a lot of this in this particular field as well. And I've had a huge bit of it. And I have mentioned in previous videos that red, Heligod that red Heligoland flint isn't natural to Essex. It's actually from Doggerland. And which was is in, underwater. Which is underwater, you're right. And it was imported here during Neolithic times, because it made stunning flint tools. So I'm quite pleased with that. That's, that's it is only a piece of debitage, but it's a piece of ancient debitage. And it's a lovely piece. So let's have a little look, see what Yarn has got. So what's we found? I don't want to show, I don't want to show it on camera because I haven't no. got it. That's all right, well we'll have a little look. No. All right, got got him. Okay, perhaps, perhaps not that piece. Oh, yep, yep, yarn has done well there. Here we go, we've got another piece of red Heligoland flint there. And, and you can see all these flakes which have been taken off here. A few of them may have been recent flakes on there, to be honest with you, from the plough. But, but this, is a, this is definitely an old piece of red Heligoland flint, so well done, Yana. So it's kind of a piece of a large chunk of core. It was just over there. You so found you found it. Just, you found it just behind us. It's, it's really cool. Yeah, a big brick. Yeah, well done. Well, let's, let's keep looking. It actually won't be too long, and, and I'm pretty sure the farmer will clear these crops in here. They, they seem quite damaged around this area, so I reckon a lot of kids have been playing around in this corn, this cornfield. But it has left quite a big space for me and Yana to have a little search. Oh, that. Right, you've got another piece of that, that red flint, yeah? Let's have a little look. No, I don't think that is. What is it then? No, that's just a piece of debitage. It's just like a piece of brown flint, that. <laughs> nice try, though, darling. Oh, yep, yep, she's done well there. Another piece of red flint there. Yeah, well done, Yana. <laughs> I love a bit. Okay, hold on a second. The other thing I might have, a, I need to give this a wash up, but Ladybug. it looks really rough and crude. It might, uh, again, it might be a large flake, but, but it does look like a very primitive and very basic, like, scraper or a spoon scraper of some kind. So, again, I, I need to give it a wash and have a little look at the flaking on that a little bit closer and, and see what it reveals. Yeah, there is, there is a tiny, tiny little piece, but we'll probably put that piece back. Oh, yeah, I don't I... know, actually, I might take that, actually. It looks like it's got some flaking around the edge on that, look at that. So we'll have a proper look at that when we get home, yeah? <laughs> yeah. 
Yana and I are also going to be taking a little look in the woods while we're having well, we're on this little tiny field walking trip to see what we can find. We haven't been over there in a while. <laughs> so I'm going to see if Yana can find it. You gonna have a little look on that ground. I've actually found something. Looks like an arrow. Have a little look and see if you can find it. Okay, so I've just pulled it out of the ground. Well, we're sticking out of it. No. 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 <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> getting cold now. You're getting cold. Close, you're warm, getting cold, warm, 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 getting cold, 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 warming up, warming up, warming up, warming up, warming up, getting cold, getting, warming up, getting cold. That's the end, that's it. This? That? That. How am I supposed to see that? I just saw the point sticking out, I had a little look. It looks like a, um, a leaf. Um, <coughs> I don't know, let's have a little look. I can't really tell probably. <coughs> that wasn't a game, was it? Okay. Oh, very, very tiny. But we do actually have a small Neolithic arrow head. leaf shaped arrow. It needs a proper wash. I can see some flaking if I look really closely. I'm actually going to change my camera in a second so we can focus in and get a better view because although how incredible GoPros are, they're not that great at focusing. So I'm going to try that on my iPhone. I'll wait a second. Okay, I just just walked upon this. This actually, to me, looks like some kind of scraper. Holy crap. You can actually see some flaking here, here, and it's been worked into there, there. And if you can see that, it's like some kind of it's a piece of debitard which has been retouched into a working tool. Could even be a broken piece of something that was a lot larger. Definitely a large knife of some kind, I, I had imagined. Ah, okay. I'm jumping over I'm not I'm not jumping over there. I alert myself. I'm walking round, walking round.
Well, I didn't have any luck in the woods. Not today anyway, so I've come out here just to have one last little look at this cornfield as I walk across and found out that that might just be a stone, but, but the damage on that looks as though it could have been a hammer stone. So I can have a proper look at that when I get home once I've given it a wash up. A big thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. We love you all. <laughs> oh bless. <laughs> okay everybody, a big thank you, like Yana said, and we will see you all soon. Until then, stay safe, keep well, and bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye everybody. Bye. bye.